This video is sponsored by Amazon. This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11, 11th Gen. Can you believe it? Wow, you know, I remember when this first came out and it was an amazing thing. It's sort of like the Windows version of the MacBook Air was in the day because it is so sleek, thin, and light. Okay, in a businessy looking way, it's sleek. It's Lenovo still, you know, with that raven dark black thing. Two and a half pounds, just under 1.12 kilograms. We're going to look at it now. So what we have here is Intel 13th generation Raptor Lake CPU refresh. So this is the U series rather than the P series. So it's a 15 watt ultrabook thin and light processor. And you know what? That actually does make some sense. Now in some markets, I don't know. I hear they might, they might have a P series processor option, but the U makes more sense because you don't want heat and you want better battery life in this. So I'm totally down with that. You still have 16 by 10 aspect ratio displays and a mind boggling array of display options that we'll get into, including a 2.8K OLED display with P3 color gamut. You've got biometrics on board. You've got the usual excellent Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard with 1.5 millimeters of key travel, the track point eraser stick pointer in addition to a very competent trackpad. It's the complete package. It just shows fingerprints a little bit, you know. Thunderbolt 4, you have optional 4G slash 5G, sub 6 5G if you want to go with that, and Wi-Fi 6E with Bluetooth 5.2. That's a lot of tech in a small package. You come to us for the latest, greatest hardware reviews, and today's sponsor, Amazon, and the OnePlus 11 5G might just be the phone that you need. I'm really thrilled that after a couple of years of toying with other things, they're back to being that flagship phone that doesn't have the crazy flagship price. It's hundreds of dollars cheaper. The OnePlus 11 is super comfy in hand, despite being a large screen OLED phone, thanks to their smart industrial design. It's not too wide. As always with OnePlus, you get insanely fast 80 watt charging. And guess what? The charger is in the box, unlike most smartphones today. You also get the fastest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and the beloved alert slider. So you can switch it to vibrate or silent mode, or of course, to have it ring. Other features include a sophisticated Hasselblad camera system on the rear with a 50 megapixel massive Sony sensor, OIS for steady photos and video, and you get both ultra wide and telephoto lenses in addition to the main lens. For peace of mind, you'll get five years of security updates and four years of OS updates. To learn more, visit the link in the description. And now back to our video. So let's talk about those, as ever with ThinkPad, too many display options almost. You have two full HD options. They're 400 net, they're IPS. We actually have that full HD plus technically because 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 1920 by 1200. And whether you get touch or non-touch, both are available, you're gonna get the same matte. Literally it is a matte display, which is neat because it's almost impossible to find a matte touch screen if you want it. Now it's a perfectly lovely looking display, honestly. And in a 14 inch size, I can't blame you if you choose it for the best battery life. There is a privacy screen option, same resolution, which is 500 nit. There is a 2.2K IPS display option that's only 300 nit. Uh, all of these so far are full sRGB coverage. And well, I don't know why the 2.2K one actually exists in a way, but the most interesting or most tempting one, and it's only like $105 more if you're gonna you know, build to order on this, is the 2.8K OLED display with full P3 coverage. And that one is 400 nits also. So if you're a fan of OLED and those stunning rich blacks and all that sort of thing, that's available to you. It's not gonna cost you much more. And since it's not a full 4K resolution, it won't hit the battery life as hard. Speaking of that, this year, there doesn't seem to be any 4K display option available on this. Now, in terms of performance and thermals, I mean, it's an ultra bug. It shouldn't get that hot, right? And with that Intel U-series processor, you got Core i5 and i7 options. vPro is optional for those of you who need that. I, you know, it's, it performs as well as the last generation 28-watt P-series processor using only 15 watts. So the efficiency and the performance here, I think, are certainly appropriate for a business slash productivity kind of laptop. You're not buying this to play Destiny, are you? No, obviously not, right? Uh, if you're doing hardcore video editing, this is not the class of machine you're gonna buy anyway. So to me, it makes a lot of sense and it does help with battery life. We still have the same 57 watt hour battery that we saw last generation with a 65 watt fast charger. And this year with our model, which is the full HD plus and the 
Core i7 processor inside, and I, not the highest end of the Core i7s, but good. Uh, we're seeing about 10 hours of light use with the display set at 200 nits. So that's pretty solid, and that is something I would like from a super thin and light portable business traveling ultrabook kind of machine. I don't want to have to be running to the outlet all the time. For biometrics, there is a full HD IR webcam on board and the fingerprint scanner is embedded in the home button. The mirror metrics glance software, so it's presence detection software. You can actually set it up so if somebody happens to be like looking over your shoulder, it can blur the screen. So if you're on the CIA task force traveling and you don't want anybody to see what you're doing, well, it's there for you. Business laptop means things like self-healing BIOS, all those usual things. Of course, every laptop now has a TPM 2.0. You've got that. Though I keep calling this a business laptop because, uh, well, ThinkPads, that's how Lenovo positions them. This has really good quad stereo speakers. You've got two two-watt woofers. You've got your set of tweeters up firing. So multimedia experience on this is actually all that is pretty darn good. Being a business-friendly laptop, that means, well, getting inside is not hard. Phillips head screws, no specialty tools, just unscrew the visible Phillips head screws, grab from the back, and you can pull off the cover. See the underside right there? And here are the internals. It's an Ultrabook, folks, so there's not that much you can do. Obviously, you have access to the 57-watt-hour battery, should you need to replace it. And the speaker drivers are visible. Here are the 2 watt woofers and then the 0.8 watt tweeters facing upward. The M.2 2280 SSD is here under a copper heat sink. Nice to have a copper heat sink there. So anywhere up to 2 terabytes of storage is available. We have two teeny weeny little fans here. I mean, it's a U series 15 watt Ultrabook. You don't need that much oomph with Intel integrated graphics. Processor under that heat sink right there. This slot would be if you went for the optional 4G or 5G sub 6 WAN modem, and there would be a nano SIM card slot to go with it if you did that. And the Wi-Fi card, which is an Intel AX211 Wi-Fi 6E card with Bluetooth 5.2 is soldered on, and it is right here, and these are the antenna leads for that. So that's the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon for 2023. Uh, you know, you're not going to build any muscles carrying this. It's If you like the look of this, you're still going to like the look of this. It hasn't changed. It is thin. It is light. You've got your Thunderbolt ports, but you still have some legacy ports like USB-A and thankfully a headphone jack, right? you got an optional 5G on board with this. You have good solid performance for an Ultrabook uh, Good selection of display options. I would find it hard to resist the OLED, even though I do like the full HD plus touchscreen. Good keyboard because, well, ThinkPad, it is a good keyboard. So if you're looking for a super portable traveler that won't weigh you down in the least bit and you're not into that Dell XPS 13 look, or let's face it, you just want 14 inches, I can't blame you. That's who this is for. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.